Uh, it's Chris here for IFL TV MTK Global, and um, with me uh, I've got Chris Bailey. How are you doing? Welcome, Chris. Um, the anticipation's over. Fighters have all announced. All eight fighters um, up on the board today. Uh, great mix of talent. Um, basically, out of all those fighters, who would you not want to come up against first round? Um, first round. I want to come up against obviously Ray. He's coming just just out of out of the amateurs, so he'd be used to the three three minutes. Um, there's a few other few other good lads there now. Ray, great friend of mine, so I'd, I'd like I like myself and him in the final. But uh, to fight first, I'd like probably look. There's a few lads out there that that are kind of in the same boat as me, kind of used to the longer rounds, so. Maybe one of them would probably suit me down to the ground more than Roy would. Overall, how does it feel to be on the short list to actually fight here at, at Ireland's last month's yeah, standing it's great. national arena? It's, it's, it's brilliant, yeah. To be, I think there was 20 something boxers that applied for it, and to be chosen for one of them is it's great, you know. I've, like this, this will be my fifth, fifth show at Red Corner and f first with Assassins, so. But hopefully more to come in the future. Um, with a prestigious prize on offer of twenty-five thousand euro, if you were to win the competition, what would you spend the cash on? I think I'd bring the family on holidays anyway first, and like, I'd like to say save, but I probably won't be able. I'll just probably blow it all and have a few parties after. Uh, this morning it was announced uh, by Eddie Hearn that he's signing Amir Khan on a three-fight deal. Uh, basically. What are your thoughts on this deal, and do you think that that makes it a better prospect for Khan versus Kelbrook? Um, yeah, I think I think to be honest, with you, that's why he's signing him. Um, him and Kelbrook, Kel, Kelbrook is fighting third of March as well against um, an old stableweight, stablemate of mine, um, Sergey, out of Hatton's gym. So I, I see him beating Sergey on points. Sergey's a massive puncher, but. I think that's just a warm-up fight to fight a mere can after. And then <coughs> if he wins, it'll just he has the winner on both 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 ways. So I think that's why he's done it, and he's very clever. How do you see uh, George Groves and Chris Bank Jr. fight playing out in the World Boxing Super Series? Um, I I think George Groves. I'm not a big fan of Chris Bank. Don't really like him that much. So he's great. He's a great talent. He's a great engine, but just. Don't like the way it goes on. It's just my thoughts. For anyone out there uh, looking to attend Ireland's last man standing uh, at the National Stadium here on the 3rd of March, can you tell us uh, where to be able to get tickets um, from? To be able to get tickets, um, just contact me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or my father Neil Blaney on Facebook. It'll be, it'll be, they'll be in now. I'll be in Manchester trying them, but they'll be in now. And so anybody wants them, just get in contact with them. And um, there's a good quality uh, of fighters in this tournament. Um, how do you see your own skill set playing out uh, as a fighter in this different uh, format? You were saying that you're used to the longer rounds. Can you see yourself adapting to yeah, these shorter? I, um, I was talking to Ricky, Ricky last week about it. Like, there was talks of an Irish title for me as well, and this. So. So they go into this. The training, he's already got the training kind of set up for me. So like, I'm, I'm not the fast, fastest starter in the world. I know that. I think a lot of people know that. But obviously the training, I'm going to adapt to the training and I'll be, I'll be ready for March 3rd, all guns blazing. Okay, Chris, thank you very much for talking to the AFL and we'll wish you all the best in Ireland's last month standing. Thank you. Cheers.